Hey, welcome back. Uh, carrying on with Cybersecurity Awareness Month uh, in December now. We're going to get this wrapped up, I promise. But today we're talking about uh, another certification review. So today I want to talk a little bit about uh, the GCTI or the GEOC Cyber Threat Intelligence Certification. Uh, it's based on the course Forensics 578 with SANS. Um, and honestly, this is one of the best courses I think I've taken in cybersecurity uh, and for a handful of reasons, right? Um, I got to take this live in Washington, D.C. with Rob Lee as the instructor, so that was a great experience overall. Uh, but the course itself was really in alignment with how I like to think about security, um, which is from a threat perspective and an analyst perspective. Uh, so the course is interesting because it is called Cyber Threat Intelligence, and it does heavily talk about threat intelligence as a whole. But I think it's very useful to pretty much anybody in cybersecurity, especially if you're on the analyst side of things or the blue team side of things. Um, and as an attacker, if you're looking to obfuscate, you know, getting identified or things like that, helpful there too. Uh, but the ultimate goal of it is pretty broad, right? Like they have some uh, certification objectives, right? They talk about analysis of intelligence. And I think that's really important because um, they dive heavily into things like cognitive bias. And unless this is something you're, hold to pay attention to. I think it's very easy as an analyst to make bad assumptions and let your biases sort of take over what you're looking at and shape your hypothesis and shape what you're what you're investigating. And that can ultimately lead you really, really you know, off, right? Like it'll take you down a road that you don't want to be down and probably, you know, it can impact your uh, investigation negatively. Um, so I like that they pay attention to the human element of analysis because I don't think a lot of people do and don't do it enough. Um, they definitely go into things like kill chain, diamond modeling, you know, course of action matrix and things like that. Uh, there's a lot of good tools covered in the course as far as how to identify attacks and patterns and APTs and things like that. Um, they talk a bit about attribution. I think earlier in the, this series or in the uh, 2023 uh, Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we talked a little bit about attribution and how it's not really ultimately an important goal beyond building a threat informed defense, right? So you don't necessarily care about who is attacking you currently, unless you're in law enforcement or the military or something like that. What we do care about holistically is understanding um, the patterns uh, and TTPs that specific groups use. So we know to look for those things as clusters of activity and an environment and can build defenses around them when we see them attacking certain segments of a of a, an industry or something like that. So uh, I really like that they dove into a lot of that stuff. Um, Intelligence deliverables, intelligence operations, things like that. All those are things that a lot of people in security don't ever spend a lot of time doing. I know I didn't. Uh, so this wasn't something that I walked into uh, with a lot of knowledge of, which is also part of why I liked it, I think. I think I liked that it was a, it seemed like a more fresh um, academic take on a lot of things that had traditionally been very technical uh, for, uh, at least in my experience, right? So being able to kind of take a step back and think through things like, okay, as a human, how do I deal with this kind of information? How do I weigh it? Where is this information coming from? And understanding the implications of those decisions during the analysis of an event. Um, and there was still a nice blend of technical stuff, getting to use tools like uh, MISP and things like that. So overall, I think it was a really strong course. Um, I think Rob's a great instructor. Uh, so if you get to take it from him live, I would highly recommend it. Um, but even if it's online or with another instructor, I think they have a couple more instructors now. Uh, Forensics 578 is a, a good course. I would definitely recommend it. Um, and yeah, that's kind of my review. Uh, very good course. Lots of good um, information on how to share intelligence, craft intelligence, the tooling used for all that stuff. But really, for me, the biggest and best takeaways that have stuck with me uh, for several years now at this point, I think I took this course a few years ago, um, were the talks on cognitive bias and how analysts should approach intelligence. Um, and yeah, uh, great course, 10 out of 10. Uh, have a great day, everybody.